control, oh my god. Okay, so our first step is to convert our image layer to a smart object. Then using Control J, I'm going to duplicate this layer two more times and hide the top layer. With the middle layer selected, we're going to come to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. We're going to set our distance to 500 pixels and leave the angle at zero. Now we add a layer mask. Using a soft brush of black paint, we're going to erase the blur on the left side of the image. Next we're going to unhide our top layer and again go to filter, blur, motion blur. This time we're going to set our distance to 750 pixels and keep the angle at zero. Once again we're going to make another layer mask on this top layer and for a second time erase the blur on the left edge of the image. With our bottom layer selected we're going to create another layer mask and using the brush we're going to erase the right edge of the image. And you might not be able to see what I'm doing here but if I hide these layers you can see. Holding shift and selecting the bottom layer to the top layer, then pressing ctrl G, as command G if you're on Mac, we create a group. Using ctrl J I'm going to duplicate this group and hide one of them. And with the unhidden group, I'm going to press ctrl E to merge the group. Then again with ctrl E, I'm going to merge this layer with my background layer. Next we're going to come up to filter, filter gallery, and we're going to need three effects here. Starting with graphic pen, set your stroke length to 2 and your light and dark balance to 41 make sure the stroke direction is set to horizontal. Now we're going to come down to this plus symbol to add a new effect layer. And this time our effect is halftone pattern. Your halftone settings will depend on the size of your image, but this is what I went for. All you need to make sure is that your pattern type is line. For final time we add another effect layer, and this time it's green. Set your intensity to around 50, and we're contrasting 96 with a green type of horizontal and that should give you the final effects. So we're going to hit OK. And as you can see, that is how we make our printed scan lines. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.